Hello, this is CJ at Thor Parts, and uh, myself and a few other guys have uh, uh, been getting some emails regarding fitting a 37 inch tire um, on the rear bumper um, using a Thor Parts bumper, and uh, they're wanting to know what sort of clearance issues they're going to have. So I have my own personal uh, rig here, and I thought I'd uh, shoot some footage and show exactly uh, what kind of clearance I got and what we can do to get more. Okay, this is a stock H3 with the Thor Parts rear bumper. Um, there's no body lift or anything on here, so this is exactly where the bumper sits. And I'm running a uh, 17 by 9 uh, rim, and I'm using a 35 inch tire. And if I get down here on the bottom, you can see that I have, oh, probably about a half inch of clearance right here. Um, in addition to to that tight spot and uh, notice that the the wheel is offset for the rancho kit this is a minus 11 millimeter offset and it pulls it away from the door more than I would like so in addition to raising the spare up I also might want to pull it back into the door about oh maybe another inch and a half and I think all that can be done by cutting and chopping the uh, spare tire bracket here. The idea here is to avoid having a gate, um, which are sort of a clunky, inconvenient way to get in and out of an SUV, in my opinion. And then uh, also, the other thing we're trying to avoid is putting the spare up on the roof, which, as you can see in the case of my truck, is not gonna work, um, or possibly locating it inside. But uh, I think the ideal spot is to keep it on the door. Okay, so here I have taken the bracket off. I got it out here in the sunlight to show you a better idea of what I, I plan to do with it. First thing I did is I took and uh, I took a, a, a 90 degree triangle and went off this flat surface, scribed my cut lines all the way around based off of this surface and that will keep my uh, grinding to a minimum when I go to put a plate in there. What I plan to do is section this, cut this inch and a half strip out, take this off, weld in a plate, leaving some more sticking off the top of it, and then I'm going to weld this back on but shift it about two inches higher. Um, it's important to note that before I cut things loose here I'm going to weld in some temporary straps on both sides because once I make either of these cuts it's going to become three pieces and uh, I want these two pieces to be uh, held uh, in, in position with each other. Half hour later we've got uh, got the base separated, got it all ground, temporary supports tacked in place. I've got this top piece here. This is going to go like this and you can see around there that hang on the lights in your way you can see around here the offset that I have and what that'll do is it'll shift the bracket which originally sat here up to here fast forward about an hour and uh, here's what the bracket looks like I have sectioned this piece loose from these and uh, slid it up two inches. Also I have cut oh, about an inch and a half out to bring it closer to the truck. Got me a piece of 3 16 here in between them and uh, I am going to put some additional um, gussets in this area. And then uh, probably on the back side too. The hole um, I need for my uh, license plate wiring. I run a rock hard uh, license plate um, kit that uh, mounts the plate to the spare and the uh, light for the plate comes through here. So we're going to give this a check fit and then uh, if everything is cool I'm going to weld up some gussets, clean it up a little bit and send it out for powder coat. One more thing I thought I'd mention, and this is true for any H3, uh, these studs are pressed into the back side of this plate at the factory, and 
there's been several cases of uh, of these spinning when people uh, have a flat tire on the side of the road and they try to take their spare off the nut stays locked to the threads and the stud spins and that obviously means no spare so while I got this apart and I recommend this to anybody else if they have a welder is to put a couple tack welds on these to keep the studs from turning so we're gonna throw this on here and see if I gained enough uh, height um, to get a 37 on uh, the back of my truck. Okay, here is the finished spare tire bracket shown in place. As you can see, I am now hugging my door much like a, a factory one, and that's due to shortening it for the uh, offset of the wheels. If you're running a Rancho kit, uh, you might be interested in that mod. Uh, even if you wanted to leave it at the same height uh, because of the 37 inch spare I raised mine and now compared to before you can see I have room for a 37 inch so it's another quick and easy mod brought to you by Thor parts happy wheeling <laughs>